Coach Kokonoe, a very prominent ringside presence on this autumn tour, has now been sent home, we learned yesterday. The reason, I'm afraid, was the hospitalization of his 18-year-old charge due to excess and underage drinking. The poor lad involved is said to be Chiyoshishi. His condition has since stabilized, but he won't be involved with the rest of this tour. He's been sent home too. So, they still have this culture of forcing youngsters to drink, tweeted a mystery ex-wrestler from Kasugano Stable. Nice, huh? They get angry when you refuse a drink, and get angry when you drink too much. Long-term fans have seized on this point, tweeting, An 18-year-old wrestler doesn't go drinking alone. Why aren't the guys who forced him to drink being punished? Senior wrestlers get highly amused by having their juniors drink too much. This is not an uncommon event, and is only talked about openly because of its awful outcome this time. Research is urgently needed into how to curb the excesses of sumo stable behavior. As top-level uni sumo teams will vow, excess need not be the norm. As for the tour itself then, let's go back to October 17th and another report from Tajimi, where Kirishima went 9-0 against Nishikigi, Hiradoumi and Gonoyama. I've only trained with the pushers till now. Time to train with some grapplers, I thought, said the focused second ranker. Having painfully failed to reach my goal of taking the September title, I want my first cup as an Ozeki next time round. The following day saw the tour move to Otsu in Shiga Prefecture where reasonably local boy Gonoyama was defeated by Asanoyama. What's crucial is that I've come this far without injury, he said of the current tour as a whole. I hope I can get my bout count up as we near the final stages. 9 and 6 in September means Gonoyama hits a new career high, but he's keeping both feet on the ground, saying... Fighting Takakesho head-on last time was a great experience for me, but it showed I've still got work to do. In that same session did hot prospect Adami Fuji force out Kirishima with a firm inside right, before narrowly losing their second feisty encounter. It may only have been two bouts today, but what a chance to train with an Ozeki, said Atami. As for the tournament coming up, if I aim for eight, I'll end up with eight. So I want to shoot for loads of wins. For now, on this tour, it's great to have fans' eyes trained on me. And it's great to visit places I've never before seen. Back in Tokyo that day, Konishiki guest appeared at Oshima Stable to offer some ex Ozeki advice. Men from four stables had gathered there, including Hakuho's Miyagino, from whom Otani and Raiho were singled out for special pep talks, along with Oshiogawa's brightest hope, Kazeke no. Whether you're huge or whether you're small, you must all have your own individual goals, Konishiki was keen to stress. If you train with a mind to improve, You'll soon be calling the shots in your tournament bouts. I'll keep supporting you from now on, of course. The one-time giant from Hawaii also gives supplementary training to several lower rankers in private. October 19th took the tour to Kyoto. There did Takakesho, who restarted practice bouts two days before, go 6-3 and three over Asanoyama including five straight wins in signature shoving style. I don't care who I'm up against. If I'm doing bouts at this early stage, it means my build-up's going well, Keisho said. Reflecting on 2023 so far, I see my titles as two wins and my pull-outs as two losses. 
A pullout is the same as a loss in my book. I must finish the year strongly. Asano Yama reacted as follows. I didn't think he'd call on me, so it was nice to lock horns for the first time in ages. It's tougher rising up the chart now than before. I'm not only older, but saddled with the pressure of being a former Ozeki expected to win. And if I can't beat the current Ozeki, I won't be getting my old rank back. In the Q&A, Uda revealed he'd watched a tour event in that very arena as a high schooler back in 2008. I just came along for fun that day, he confessed, but I'm delighted to finally get the chance to come here as an actual wrestler. I was also here in 2009 to hand out ribbons assigning fighters to the east or west side of the ring. I even pinned ribbons on some currently active wrestlers. Uda also claimed he's still single, while fellow panelists Hoshio Ryu and local man Chiyo Sakai declined to comment. Meanwhile, Sadanomi, who's fought more tournaments at salaried level than anyone else in the room, has vowed to go on for some time yet. He fated September's winning score, his first of the year by the way, with a trip to his Kumamoto hometown where he was guest of honour at a free Chango party. It was good I could go back there with a winning score. I realised they're still watching me after all these years in the ring, he said. At 36 now, he looks to the top flight's oldest man for sumo inspiration. I always joke with Tamawashi about who is more senior, Sada said. In the sumo world, it's the guy who joined first i.e. me. He makes me believe I've got more years left, even if I can't match his feats. In November, I hope the Kyushu fans can go home admiring my sumo. The next day brought the tour to coach Sendagawa's native Nara. The big news was that Tedunofuji resumed practice bouts for the first time since July going 6-0 over Wakamoto Haru. It was not the most highly powered session, and one tweeter quite close to Teru suggested he's not fully ready. But Wakamoto Haru disagreed. He basically beat me up today, said the likeable Sekiwake. The speed at which he hooks me in, and the pressure he quickly applies after that, is just different level. There's no escaping his grip. And he got better the more that we fought. And the force of his charge went up as well. Losing to him is kind of normal, so it's more a question of what can I learn from losing all these bouts? The Yokozuna also lent his chest to fellow Johoku alumnus Roga, who beat him in 2019, remember? And angrily mocked his lack of stamina. Wakayama was next on the tour's hit list, with ex Hakuho on tour duty for the very first time, being guided around by coach Iwatomo. Thinking back to his own touring days, the current coach Miyagino pushed to revamp the wrestlers' lunch menus, more regional specialties, and less reliance on quick and easy bento boxes. After polishing off his white bait themed meal, Asanoyama was especially pleased. Coach Miyagino really understands the food situation on tour, and it's nice that he thinks a bit about how to improve things for us. I was loving this lunch today, Asanoyama exclaimed. On stage, Ozeki Hoshoryu lent his chest to newly crowned high school Yokozuna Daiki Nishide, and in doing so, recalled his own high school sumo days. I actually lost the 2017 high school national final to Roga, Horshoryu said. But hey, who's won more cups in pro sumo? I keep reminding Roga of that. In practice bouts, Shoryu went 2-3 and three in a lively exchange with fellow Ozeki Kirishima. Meanwhile, Takakesho drew 5-all with white-bait filled Asanoyama. 
and Terunofuji thrashed Wakamoto Haru again.